Okay, hello everyone. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever time it is for you. I'm Reza Rad, um, and uh, today we are we have the pleasure to be with Harleen Kaur from uh, Microsoft. Uh, she is one of the PMs in Microsoft. Hey, Harleen. Hey, Reza. Uh, I'm super excited to be here. Very nice to have you here. Thank you for your time. Really appreciate that. And you've been working on some really exciting things recently. Oh, yes. Uh, so I am very excited to announce that we have new dark mode in Power nice. BI desktop now. You know, yay, yay dark mode. Yeah, so, been looking uh, forward to it for a really long time. Yeah, it has been, you know, one of our top uh, request from the mm. community and and we are so excited that finally we are releasing it back to the community you know the that thing that community because, has it's yeah it, it helps a lot in the developer environment like we have it in visual studio visual studio code a lot of places now having it in power bi desktop is such a such a great thing yeah awesome uh is it possible that we see it how does it work Absolutely. So uh, let me just open my Power BI PBIX file. So uh, when you first time open your Power BI desktop or PBIX file, you will see this announcement dialog uh, for the first time, which will tell you that dark mode is here. And uh, the best part of this uh, announcement dialog is that you can opt into any theme directly from the dialog. You don't need to, uh, you know, restart your application and so on. And I'll show you that. And one more thing that I want to share with the customers here. It's not just the dark mode that we are releasing. We are also releasing a new light mode, which is a more modern light mode, has more shadows, and you'll see that just right now. So uh, by default, it's going to be in default because Everyone, that's the theme that we provide today. But if you click on light mode, you'll see changes on your UI. So now uh, the top bar is not dark in color uh, and the ribbon has more you know, shadows, more corners, again, giving mm. some that modern look. And now go, let me take you to the dark mode. So if you select dark mode, your entire Power BI shell, everything, your different panes, everything goes into dark mode. Nice. Uh, that is and, amazing. And the best part, and did you see, I didn't uh, close the dialogue and I didn't uh, restart yeah. my application. It was applied on the fly. And I want to show you one more thing. So if you select Windows, it's a new option and this mm -hmm. adapts to your Windows settings. So for example, let me say that, we have in the Windows. Exactly. So right, right. now my settings uh, in Windows is light mode. Mm -hmm. But if I select it to dark mode, let's see what happens. It goes into dark mode. And it's cool. So it adjusted with the rest of the screens that we have. So we don't really need to change it whenever we change the Windows theme. It just follows that. Yeah, that is perfect. Exactly. Which works for a lot of our customers because if you are changing, you know, Windows settings on one screen and you have mm. Power BI desktop app running on the other screen, you don't have to restart your application every time you're changing your Windows settings. So it happens on the this fly. Is Isn't this that is great? Cool. This is this is awesome, yeah. Uh, can't wait to start using it. And and does it change everywhere? Like, is the data tab, the relationship tab, tax query view, all of these changed? Yes, absolutely. Let me show you. So let me close this dialog. And as you see, one of the notification dialog for me to upgrade to my actual visual is also in dark mode. So let me click it now. Yeah, now. Yes. And let me take you to different views first. So table view, it's in dark mode. Next, now let me go to model view. Again, in dark mode, you know, this is how your model view would look like, different paints. And now let me take you to the DAX query view. 
it's again in dark mode so all the dialogues everything is in dark mode this is you know, this is even, amazing and does it also yeah. affect the power query editor as well yes yes okay oh. so uh, let's go to the transform data and let me show you how uh, the Power Query Editor would look like. So yeah, here this is Power Query Editor for you. It's also nice. going to be in dark mode. And so that. are the other different, you know, uh, different dialogues. Like, let me show you how the Get Data dialog would look like. It's also going to be in dark mode. And even all the tooltips will be in dark mode. That is really good. That is really nice. Yeah. This the one thing. Like feature well done. Awesome. Yeah, I'm I'm super excited that you know this has been uh, our rec top request from last six years. And to be honest, this work was not small. It took like multiple mm. teams to work uh, for one more for around one year to you know come up with this feature so that we can actually release it with to our customers so you know and that, that's ah. also one of the reason that uh, it took so much of it it took so much our uh, time for us to release right. it to the customers because you know yeah. it was not a small feature uh was a really big one yeah one year and for like multiple teams yeah i mean there are exactly. power beta stuff it's a big tool it has a lot of windows subsections power query dice query view things like that so so I can somehow imagine it, but one year is a, is a big work, definitely. Yeah, Thank you. Uh, but Thank I'm you but I'm, I'm super happy that you know finally I can close uh, this idea on on the forums, and you know I can close so many votes together, and I can and and hopefully you know make our community super happy. Yes, yeah, no, everyone would love this, I, I'm sure. So if, if people have any feedbacks about this, if they have any questions, things like that, what is the best channel for them to get in touch with you? I am so happy that you asked me that. And with that, uh, you know, I there was another thing that I want to highlight before I answer your question, right. Reza. So now you can ask me that, hey, Harleen, you know, that dialogue just went away. What if I want to change the theme later on? How can, how can I do that? You can do that if you go to the options menu. So let me go to options. So it is in options and settings, basically one of those areas. And let's wait, yep, here it is. So let's go to global report settings. So report settings under the global settings. Let me go there and over there you will see uh, a new I section which is called personalization menu. section and you can choose you don't see my options window oh yeah now i see it yeah it was just a little bit uh, okay. delayed yeah i see that now yes all right so if you go to uh report settings under global you will see a new mm -hmm. section called personalization section and under this, you can actually choose any theme that you want to. You can go back to default, or you can go back, uh, you can choose light, dark, whatever, you know, and then again, the best part, just click okay, and your settings will apply on the fly. No need to restart your application. Right. And- Right, this is, this is cool. To, a, a question on this, like uh, when we, have, let's say, multiple Power BI desktop uh, windows open, they would all follow the same theme or they can have different things? No, so if uh, you need to close those windows uh, and then restart them for the theme to be applied, but you don't have to make changes on those windows because uh, this will automatically, automatically set into your user settings. Right, okay. So, so what I actually yeah. want to know this, is that, for example, can we have one of the windows to be light theme, the other one to be dark theme? You mm -hmm. cannot have 
uh, you cannot have multiple windows uh, where no. one window is in light mode and the other one is in dark mode. Mm. But for example, no. you know, you have four windows open simultaneously and now you decide that, okay, you know, I want to change the theme. You open uh, one of the window, you make changes over there. Like for example, from light mode, you went to dark mode. That window immediately will, uh, all the themes will be applied to that but it will not be applied simultaneously yeah. to the other yeah. no, three windows uh, where you have opened Power BI Desktop. You have to close those windows and when you open those uh, reports or Power BI instance again, it will be in dark mode. You don't have to make changes to them. Does it answer the question? Yeah, yeah, no, that, that yeah. absolutely makes sense. Yes, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, uh, going back to your previous question on, you know, how people can share uh, feedback. So we have shared a link over here asking user to share their feedback on, you know, how they liked about uh, our feature. So it will take you to a forms page. Right. And which will have, you know, certain questions. Uh, there are four to five questions, four questions. Mm. Uh, and you know, yeah, you yeah. can rate how satisfied you are with uh, dark mode experience uh, and the overall performance. What do you like? What you didn't like? Any issues? And please, please, please do share your feedback because we are always striving to make our feature, you know, better for our community. So if there is anything that you want to highlight, please share your feedback through this. Fantastic. That is great. Yeah, I'm sure the community would love this for sure. And, yeah. and hopefully now that you have free time, you can work on some other interesting features that we would love to see. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't want to say a lot, but we are working on some more exciting features. So stay tuned for Ignite. Nice. That is good. <laughs> Ignite. Nice. Okay. So looking forward to it then. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm super excited to finally close this, uh, uh, this top requested feature uh, on the ideas forum, which has been on our radar for last six years. And, you know, I am super just excited to get more feedback from our community. Yeah. Yeah. So that is, that is keep using dark mode. Yes. Yeah, we will. We will. Definitely. I'm sure a lot of people would, would love to use it right away. And uh, thank you. Thank you a lot for working on this feature. Thanks to the entire Power BI Microsoft Fabric team. Great products. We are using it every day, which is making such a big difference in everyone's career and in the world. Uh, so everyone, thank you for joining us. Um, until the next video, bye. Bye-bye.